Oh, no, frenzy. In my head, it's all still baffled by as well. I mean, oh my god. I mean, in bit from a kind of term, we got blindsided. Whoa. So, big, 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 big news. So, you have to see it off. You can't have missed it. The stock and heat are really big time to the north of the border. They are joining the four Canadian teams that are already uh, really involved in that Canadian, which will be bring them up to the moment that they are. Uh, so, as you very well know, also this year, which uh, the HL is going to be having a Canadian division, obviously to deal with the whole uh, you know, the issue is that we are, well, pretty much hockey facing with the borders between uh, Canada and the US. So, obviously, the HL have got all the Canadian teams in uh, there in the Canadian room, which is going quite well. Um, and obviously, here in the HL, we are also going to be having a uh, Canadian division, um, but it, originally, of course, it was, it was a four team, so the four Canadian teams that were uh, based in Canada, which of course were the, you know, let me bring it up. What baffles me is how this decision was taken was taken at the schedule got released. I mean the fact that this decision was not done properly now before the schedule. We just got a more model up. Oh. Right, okay. There we go. So the cleaning teams are the four um love kits, which are the affiliate of the Montreal Canadian. We've got the Belgian Senators, which are the affiliate of the Hospital Senators, Manchester Manitoba Moose, affiliate of the Winnipeg Jets, of course, Share Arena with the Winnipeg Jets, and we've got Toronto Marlies, the affiliate of the Hospital So those four teams are all going to play in a Canadian division. And now you've got the division of Stockton, who are going to most likely uh, play in Calgary um, to deal with the whole issue of being a name in the world. Now, one of the things that has really baffled me about this decision is why didn't Calgary, for the flavor of the go get, get it? Bring him up. Bring him up. So why didn't the Calgary Flame? Hello, Harvey. Why didn't they already make that decision well before uh, the ill outs were revealed? And why couldn't they not just decide this? You know, before the schedule got released. So, and this has been a muck up on both of my videos so far on the Mayor Copy 2021. Uh, in the description, I've had to update them, but I'll explain on how um, you, the videos were recorded up those before that announcement. So, so, if you do go watch back, so if you haven't watched already, uh, if you go watch them, it's April 2021 update and in or out, they're the titles. You'll notice the description is just you know, a little bit of the same. How these videos were recorded before the big announcement. Um, yeah, big frenzy. You want to go? Yeah, yeah, big friends. It's at the end. So, oh my love. Right. In fact, let's bring your others up. So, before we get to Calgary as a whole, I thought, how is everyone supposed to be sat on your 
from Stockton website. So I've just bought the articles on the Stockton Sheep website. And the curse of that is just dreadful. Right. We'll get to that in a minute. But before that, I want to go back to before we even got the news of who was in and who was going to be out. I mean, I still was amazed at how it was only three teams that said they were out, which were for Milwaukee Admirals, the the affiliate of the Predators, the Springfield Thunderbirds, the new affiliate of the Blues and the Charlotte Checkers, who were the new affiliate of the Panthers, and of course are technically still the reigning champions of the Cotton Cup. Now, one of the big questions was always going to be in the build up to getting an air from that company being the place where was were the Canadian teams going to go into a Canadian division? And was the Canadian team in the NHL who've got a fit in, 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 in America, were they going to move them? So, of course, that, if they were, that would have had a big effect on us because you've got Stockton, who of course is Calvin's affiliate. You've got the Bakersfield Condors, who of course are the affiliate of the Edmonton Oilers. Hello, Hunter. And of course, come on, Finn. Up you come, my darling. And of course, you've got the Utica Comet. I still don't know that's how to pronounce it. You've got the Comet in Utica, who of course are the affiliate of Vancouver! Hi, Finn. Oh, that you went to the viewers. Lovely thing. Yeah. So the big question was going to be what? Well, actually, I'll be in the middle of the video. The big question was going to be what are these three going to do with their affiliates? Because for all three of them, they are in America. And of course, let's say what you have to say. These three people end up playing in a Canadian division, but the division is a very tight Canadian division, it's going to be. Um, and the big question is going to be how is it going to work for these three teams if they want to call up uh, players from the American Hockey League when if their teams are in America? Would it make more sense to move them into with the other four AHL Canadian teams and to call a Canadian division? Well, that got sort of possibility got sort of squashed straight away and these three were very very adamant that they were not going to move their team the condos were going to stay in Bakersfield the comics were going to stay in Utica I don't know if I pronounced that right or not and the heat was going to stay very much in Stockton despite the fact obviously the issues that COVID-19 the COVID has done to the border between the US and Canada is still a problem. It's still been a problem for quite some time. Um, so, the problem I bit really have with this is why did Calgary make this decision basically lastminute.com? You know, when the Schedules had already been brought out, but these three affiliates, because obviously these three affiliates are all American teams, and the AHL release schedule for the American division, but the actual release was the Canadian division. It was all worked out, it was all fine, it was all good, it was all fine. And then, no, whoop, stop, and that last was like, whoop! It just looked really, really messy. You know, it meant that, oh, Essentially, it had to be redone because it's a pretty big division. And Doctor, you couldn't play right now because play has now officially begun for the American team. It still hasn't begun for the Canadian team. And I don't think at the time of recording this, we've got an update. In fact, no, I don't think we have. Um, but yeah, I know these, I know these do not impress. But yeah, so let's now go into the stocks of the hole. So thank you, Hunter and Finn, for going now. This year, by the way, in the division. Right, let's now go to the rest of the uh, stocks inside of it. So 
This was on January 28th, so not long after the uh, schedule of the release. In fact, this happened on the same day that I uploaded um, the tour report that we did on that update when we got the schedule out. Uh, obviously, because of the time differences with me uh, living here in, living in England, and we're several, we're several hours behind. Um, America, it meant that obviously my video was a little first before we got the whole big announcement. So, the Calgary Slayers announced on Travis Slayers that they were going to have a visual relocation of the Dock and Heat uh, to Calgary for this season, obviously, because of the, the soft water power that we brought up quite a lot. Um, and Calgary went on to say that they were. That they were appreciative of the city of Stockton and the San Joaquin County Public Health Office for the work they put forward in an attempt to accommodate the team for this season. Um, however, the complications of cross board travel in the face of COVID 19 has brought us to our position. While making Calgary and the Scotia Bank Saddledome home, the heat will follow all National Hockey League COVID 19 protocols and continue to work closely with the Alberta Ministry of Health to ensure a safe working environment. And of course, National Hockey League is still currently fighting its schedule, um, which should be a uniform Canadian division, will still be determined number of games, which will be comprised of, as I mentioned, Salby, who are the Oscar Pavilion, Larble, a state of Montreal, Manitoba, a state of Winnipeg, therefore Mali, the state of Toronto, and Stockton will now be in that division with them um, and will play in the exact same building as the Flames do. Um, so I think, think Larble are also going to be playing in the same place as the Kings are. This year as well, due to COVID, you've got three teams in this Canadian division that are basically going to play the same as well that Edit Kelsey, but only Warden normally does that. Um, let's see if I can try and find information. No, I don't think there's any new information that I've checked before we went, we went on to the court regarding it. Um, obviously. Uh, we've had we've, we've had over the weekend all the American teams have done play in those divisions, which are quite lopsided. Uh, but all in all, you know, the divisions they're still waiting. Now, I support what Calgary's done. I mean, you know, for safety reasons and also how. It would be tricky if the Blaze wanted to call up members from Stocks and just Calgary. It would have been very, very tricky with the whole the border issues. But what I don't agree with is the timing that Calgary has done. I just look to see it all over the place. This is